laws because after two boys, if you have a girl, you're so you want to buy all the nice things, and she never wanted to play with dolls. Only when my the brothers would play with the dolls, she would play with them. So she would like to do everything that they did. Okay. That is what happens if you have uh, too many brothers or too many sisters. Yeah. So, so she grew up in a home that uh, respected women a lot, and she saw that you know there was no choice. If you're a woman, you have to do something. So. We brought her up. We did not differentiate uh, between her being a girl and the boys being a boy. So, when one after the other the boys left, first of all, I didn't want them to leave. I told I told my eldest son that if we could get educated here, I don't see why you all can't get educated over here. So when my eldest son was in school and in college, one by one all his friends and left. Then my husband told her, Ashwak one day that if you think you can go out and if you get to a very good university and if you get all the scholarship needed then we can think about it but I said no I don't even want that but then he went ahead did all his exams you know the all, all that you need and he got into a good university and he got the scholarship so nobody could say no and I still have this feeling in my heart that he should not have applied and that he could not have gone and maybe gone much later but then when you think of the things he's done, he's tried to be a Bangladeshi while he's still abroad. And um, then the second one also did the same thing. And then it was my daughter's turn. So since both of us believe that we don't treat the girls differently from a boy, from the boys. So when she came to that level, she started applying and so we didn't say no. And so we come from, we, do, we are not, we are come from a conservative family, but still we did not think that we should say no. So many people told us that, you know, you send your boys away, but you shouldn't have done that for your girl. But then we don't think of them separately. They should get equal benefit, equal privileges, and go through the same hardship also. So that is how all three of them left. But they're still with us, you know. We always communicate a lot, and they do feel sad that they're not home all the time, but they come often. But uh, it, it was, when you ask how we treated her differently, I think for her it was very important to understand that it is difficult being a girl, but it, you can overcome all, all the hurdles. And so it's a, a big responsibility. So that if a girl at work comes and tells me I cannot do it, I have a small baby, I said, you will regret it later on. You can take leave, uh, try to manage everything like one girl she's got a small baby and she's uh, the child's not growing well so she said I don't think I can do my PhD I said go take two months off put yourself together put the baby together and then try to come back because then you will never you will always regret but and you you, you know how we see many people so frustrated in life and that's how frustration comes from you start blaming yourself in the end if you can't blame someone else you know in your heart that it was, if you had been stronger, you could have been, then you did that extra push, that you know, you can do it. So I'm, I mean, um, at this stage in my life, I, can, I can't think of all the troubles, but it, it is not the same. It is not the same if you're not working in this kind of a job, because for a research job, you don't switch off. You understand what the problem is? So you cannot switch off, you cannot stop. No weekends. You can have a nice time, but you have to enjoy your work, and I enjoy my work, so that keeps me going. I really enjoy my work. And then collectively we face the burdens, collectively we face the challenges. With, you have a group of students and researchers, and then you collectively do it, but I think that it is like um, the best thing that I can have. This collective work, would you say that everyone has supported you through your journey a lot? I'm such a positive person that it's very difficult for me to, um, um, yeah, more or less, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't supported at home. Isn't it? That's what you mean, isn't it? Both at home yeah, yeah, at home, at work, at work, yeah. But you have to learn to support yourself also. Uh, I always tell the story when I would be in the lab working late and the men would be there, they would say that, you know, why are you not home? How will your children grow? How will they, you know, grow up to be good human beings? Then you would be a little bit scared, but on the outer surface, I would say they will grow up, okay? Because when I go home, 
I have to give them the right type of um, attention and also give them the right education about how it is. So, like, you know, if, if you are not cooking and if you have someone to cook for you, the food won't be the same. So they knew that if we didn't have that food, we would be eating raw food. <laughs> so they don't complain. They, so they've been, it has been good for them. They've been in so many places in the world. They haven't liked the food, but they've eaten it. But uh, it's not always easy. If you have three children and they're growing up, you have relatives, you, have, you live in a society which has so many kinds of things going on all the time. Our society uh, is very good. Our extended family is very good, but it also occupies a lot of time. So then this kind of a workplace is very good for you. You're switched off from everything for so many hours a day. So I always say when I enter into ICGDRB and, and I leave at night, I'm, I can concentrate a lot in my work. And that is very important. The environment is very important. So, so if you have challenges, of course I've had challenges. My children have been sick. Um, the school reports, you've always worried. You know, I cannot go so often to schools or to colleges to see what they're doing. So you, there's always a challenge. And, um, and they've all been growing up together. They've gone through the teenagers together. So you do worry. And in the end, it has been all right. We've all survived. We've all